Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and this is gonna be a really quick video showing you how to essentially enable one-click trading. I don't believe TradeStation considers it one-click trading, but this is essentially a way to bypass any order confirmation windows. This way, the market doesn't even have a chance to move in a potentially unfavorable direction. The second you click to place an order, the second it will be placed. So a good example of showing you how to actually um, use this in real time is going to be, in my opinion, through the matrix. So the matrix, if you're not already familiar, this is pretty much a fully functioning dome. And the great thing about the dome is the fact that we can place orders directly through specific price levels. So if you see the market moving and let's say, for example, you wanted to place a stop either, you know, on the sell side or on the buy side, whatever the case is. You probably want to place it in an instant before the market gets a chance to move. So let's just take a look at an example to see exactly what normally happens. As you can see, you can click a buy one stop market. And it begins to place the order, but the order isn't technically sent to the exchange until you click yes here. So again, this is great, but if you're trying to get preciseness, extreme accuracy and instant order execution, you're going to want to avoid this order confirmation window. Now you can do so directly through here. You can click don't show me again for future matrix orders. Let's click yes. Okay, we see we have a working order there. Let's cancel this. Let's place one more and see what happens. We click buy one stop at market. This isn't going to happen for you. I'm using a specific type of account, a simulated account here. So this is why I'm receiving this window. But if we click OK, as you can see, it goes instant. So in your case, when you are live trading, you just click that um, disable order confirmation windows for the trading matrix and it will get placed instantly. You won't get that secondary confirmation window. That's just a specific case in my situation here. Now, there are other locations throughout this platform that will allow you to disable order confirmation windows. In each individual app, you could say, behaves in its own specific instance. So you can actually check which ones you have enabled and disabled by going up to file in the top left hand corner and clicking on preferences. From here, go to order entry. Now, once you in, are in order entry, you're gonna wanna focus on validation and confirms, confirmations. Now, as you can see, this actually extends to each individual asset class. So you may have to go into each individual one and disable order confirmations for it. We can first go ahead and go into the general tab. This one is gonna to apply to no matter what asset class. This is just gonna allow you to always confirm when canceling all open orders. So if you do have an open position there and you click, for example, and as you saw before, we clicked the cancel button down there, we did get an order confirmation window. If you disable this, this is just gonna disable any confirmation window. So if you click cancel, it's gonna cancel it immediately. Whether you meant to do that or not, that does not matter to the platform. All that it cares about is that you cancel the cancel order button. That's why these platforms do place these order confirmation windows into place. There is some liability when placing trades with the one click trading or you know disabling order confirmation windows. It's really easy to make mistakes, especially when you're using something like the matrix here. All it takes is a simple left click to place an order. If you're placing it at the wrong price or with the wrong order quantity, mistakes can happen, but that's just something you face when you disable these. So just keep that in mind. Continuing on now, we can go bit by bit through each asset class. And as you can see, they pretty much extend and they're pretty much the same settings across all of them here. So it does depend on the asset class you are trading, of course, but we'll take a look at equities, for example. As you can see right now, confirmations are on the matrix, order bar, market depth, quick trade bar, and option station pro. So as of right now, and as it stands, anytime you go to place an order, pretty much anywhere throughout the platform, you're gonna get an order confirmation window. Let's take a look at futures. It's a little different here, but same core structure here. You can actually see that the matrix has now been disabled for us since we actually just did it manually through the actual matrix itself. Keep in mind though that the trade bar, any macros that you have in order placement objects will run into that confirmation window. Same thing with the market depth app and the quick trade bar. 
So again, we can just go ahead and pretty much disable all of the following locations. If you do trade multiple asset classes, you may want to go ahead and just disable everything here. I would suggest keeping the validations, the portion up top here. I would suggest keeping those all active. You never know. Um, I came into an issue earlier and may not be the case for you, but in this is simulated, of course, but I place an order quantity of 11, let's say for the ES. This rule right here pretty much just warned me that my order was for $76,000 essentially. So, you know, just pretty good safe measure. Even if you've disabled these, I'd suggest keeping these on just in case. If you are, you know, a professional trader and this is what you do and you do trade um, high frequency and, you know, high lot contracts, you may want to consider disabling these if you're constantly placing orders. But, you know, it, it really just depends person to person. So, again, you can go through each of the asset classes here, disable them as you feel are needed. And then go ahead and once you've got everything disabled or enabled as needed, you can click OK. So then, like you saw, we can just come into the death of market here. Let's click on a sell limit. You won't get this when you're actually placing trades, but just in my circumstance, that's why I'm running into this. We click OK and the orders automatically executed. Well, it's actually placed. It's still working, but once the price hits that level, it's going to get executed immediately. So that pretty much wraps it up on how to enable or enable one click trading or pretty much disable order confirmation windows. If you do have any questions on this, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, or you can always head over to our community forum and ask them there. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more trade station content, future trading podcasts, tips, strategies, and much more. And as always, thanks for watching.